Aloha and welcome to Knitted Paradise, where the needles are clicking and the yarn is squishy. My name is Lucia and you can find me online as Pearl of the Pacific. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 144. It's December 9th, it's a Saturday, and I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing very well. I just hosted brunch this morning for some of my friends um, in honor of St. Lucia Day, which is coming up later this week. So I'll talk more about that a little later. Uh, but let's dive right into the knitting. Actually, let's start with announcements. Blow the conch shell. I had a giveaway on the last episode for some of these enamel pins. And there they are. There's three different colors. And the matching stickers from uh, Fiber and Brimstone. I want to make sure I said that correctly. Fiber and Brimstone. And I had nine people enter and I drew a random number and the random number chose eight, which was Grammy Knitterbug, I believe. Yes. So get in contact with me and let me know what color you'd like um, out of the three. There is pink, purple, and teal. So let me know and I will, and let me know your address and such, and I will get those sent off to you. So yay, that's exciting. Um, yeah, I think that's it for announcements. Sorry, I've got my computer over here with last time show notes so that I can remember some of the things. <laughs> I didn't actually write out show notes today, but I have time and it's still light out. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. It actually snowed last night. So there, I haven't actually been outside, but there's a nice dusting. Um, it's very pretty, but it's kind of chilly. Anyway, speaking of chilly, I finished my cowl out of Shepherd's Lamb Classic Wool, Shepherd's Lamb. And this is the yarn I got to review, and I love it. It's super warm. It fits. Uh, I did end up making the cowl. I, <laughs> I was trying to figure out I didn't quite do this correctly with the ending and I ran out of yarn right at the end so I just decided to bind off right there and um, which is fine I don't really care it still keeps my neck warm so that's all I care about but it's nice and fitted which is awesome and uh, if I pull my hair out it works better Ugh. anyway so, and it's great because I can pull it kind of away if I want a little more room or if I need it a little bit warmer. I can do that. So, I'm really excited about it and I'm glad I decided to make it a cowl instead of a hat. It worked out well. So, that is done. I've washed it and blocked it. And that's the, apparently I've not clipped off the ends yet, but you know, whatever. I have worn it a couple times. It is the beehive pattern. I think it's beeswax. Beeswax. Is that what it is? Beeswax. Cowl. Shepherd's Lamb Classic. Highly recommend it. It's a very um, wooly sort of feeling. But it's very nice and warm. Uh, and I don't have a problem with it against my neck. I thought I might, but I don't. So. Just FYI, I don't have a problem with it next to skin at all. Um, but if you're more sensitive to the itchy sorts of things, then you may not want it. But anyway, that is that. The other things that I finished were my socks that I think I just had the foot to finish last time. What is that? Oh, apparently when I was weaving in ends, I got need to fix that. <laughs> I think when I was weaving in ends, I like caught a thread from something and now it's pulling. So I'm going to turn that back inside out and I will figure that out later. I'll turn the other one right side out so you can see what it looks like. These are the Shanana Friends socks from the Minnesota 52 book. And they have this really fun two color cuff and two color heel 
I actually did top down heel flap gusset. Um, I didn't do the two toned toe just because I think I'm just not very practiced in the art of double color knitting and it was going to be really tight. So I decided for the single color toe. And it's got these mock cables on the, the leg and the foot that are super easy to memorize once you get going. So I really enjoyed this project and I need to wash and block them and apparently fix that little snafu on the heel there. Don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Glad I discovered that now before I like washed and then tried to block it and was wondering why there's all these like weird pulling going on. So that is what I finished in the last couple weeks. I think it's only actually been a couple weeks. Um, I did order some yarn and now my heater has turned on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I turned the heater off for the, the moment. I can survive. <laughs> it gets really loud because it's the furnace is right there. And um, so yeah, so that's taken care of. That's, those are the two things that I finished. Um, and then the things I've been working on are the stocking. Oh, I also finished all those stockings that I was talking about, except for one, which I'm about to show you, but all of them, like the ones for my friend, they're all done. Like they have all the names on them. They all have the hanging things. They've been washed and blocked and everything. I just have to get them to them. <laughs> so hopefully that'll happen this week. The other stocking that I was working on was the replica of this guy, the bell on the toe. And I'm happy to say that after three different tries of getting Santa on the wrong side, getting Santa backward, getting Santa, I don't even know what. Anyway, finally got Santa correctly. He's missing some eyeballs, but I'll get those soon. Actually, oh, that looks really good on camera. The colors are really contrasting. So this is that stocking and I've, um, it's knit flat. Um, so I knit it flat until this point and then I seamed it up along the back just with like mattress stitch. Um, probably, actually no, it wasn't mattress stitch. When you just go like around, it's like the easiest thing that I could think of. I was inquiring. I didn't really want to think too much. Um, I had just woven in on the ends and I thought, oh, you know what? I'll seam it up and then I can do the heel and the foot in the round. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the heel and the foot in the round. So I turn the heel and now um, I just got it, did the toe this morning, but I didn't have my needle and needle threader next to me. So I haven't done the kitchen around the toe yet, but I'm gonna do that. And then I have to embroider or duplicate stitch, not embroider, duplicate stitch his eyes and also duplicate stitch the top of these and then like the, the hanging thing. So that's what it's gonna look like. So yay, that's awesome. And then I've got to wash and block this as well. And yeah, so I had ordered the yarn for this. Some of it came from Knit Picks, some of it came from the Loopy U. So it's mostly either Knit Picks Brava or Knit Picks Wool of the Andes or Cascade 220, just like normal 220, not super wash. Um, Cause that's what this felt like. The other one felt like wool. So I just kept with wool. She didn't care if they were washable or not. So that's fine with me. So, and then I've got to put the name up here as well. So that one is almost done. And that's the only one that has to be done before Christmas. The other two can get done anytime, but I'm hoping to get them done sooner rather than later. Cause, um, when I give her this one, I probably have to give her the other one back cause they need it for Christmas. And having that there as the guide was really helpful just to at least get started because it does come with a chart. She gave me the pattern and it comes with a chart, but it's actually, I don't know whoever knit that one, if they just followed the chart backward or what, but it's actually like flip flop from how it sh like how that stocking is. And since she wanted me to copy that stocking, I wanted to copy that stocking, which means I need to like flip the, thing around and it was confusing, but we got it figured out. So the other yarn I ordered was from, gosh, 
gosh, where did I order this yarn from? I should know these things. Maybe it's in this bag. Probably not. It's probably in the box that this camera is sitting on. So I'll look that up in a minute. But I ordered um, the Seahawks yarn for a friend of mine who asked for some Seahawks colored socks. She's like, yeah, I want navy and green. And I'm like, what do you mean by navy and green? I just kept looking. I was like, how do I look for navy and green socks? She's like, yeah, like Seahawks colors. And I was like, brilliant. Searched for a Seahawk yarn. Boom, found this. Done. So I just, I wound this up pretty soon after I got it. Um, and then I've just been kind of waiting to cast on these because at the same time I ordered this, I also ordered this, which is considerably smaller because I've been knitting from it, <laughs> um, from the same company. I can't remember who I ordered it from. It'll come to me at some point. Anyway, I've been knitting some socks for a friend of mine on these. So I finished one sock. And yeah, sorry, I thought I saw a mistake in there, but I think it's fine. I don't know, some wonky stitches. So I finished one sock, and these are the Prairie Socks by Kay Jones. I think that's what they're called. Prairie something socks. Anyway, that's where the stitch came from. Or it's, it's similar to those socks. It may not be exact. Because I know she knits hers top down and I knit my toe up. So that's what I based that stitch off of. And the second one, I have done the first part of the heel. I've done the gusset and I'm just about to turn it. And so those are coming along. But these have been kind of my mindless take with me smaller knitting, except for this week when I've been bringing this with me which was a giant bag <laughs> of yarn and we, it's all knit in intarsia flat and so I had like six strands of yarn going at one point I was knitting from like two both ends of one skein or one cake and or and multiple like on multiple colors both ends of the skein. So it, it was nuts. Anyway, I was very glad when I got done with like a certain color and I could cut it and just be <laughs> like untangle it. It was like massive tangles. Anyway, so I was very glad when I got down to the foot and I'm like, oh, I just have one color, yay. So that felt great. And that's pretty much what I've been working on. I've mostly been finishing the the slew of stockings and then this stocking once I got the yarn, which was, I got it right after Thanksgiving. So I started on it pretty soon after that because I knew it was gonna take a little while. But now that I figured it out, I think stocking two and three will come much quicker. So that's great. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been working on. I don't have too much on the horizon other than two more of these guys and these and hopefully finishing up some of the I started a sweater that I think I showed last time that I'd like to finish up and just some other small things I think a friend wanted me to knit or some hats so I need to do that but nothing too too crazy which is awesome but that is that uh, but yeah let's talk about St. Lucia Day so I think that's it for the knitting for now. Oh, I have a yarn review for December too, so I will be knitting on that too. I just haven't gotten to it because I've been taken over by stockings. <laughs> the Santa stocking of doom pretty much has taken over, but I think Santa stocking of doom is now looking, looking much better, so that's great. So, St. Lucia Day, sorry I got sidetracked. St. Lucia Day is a day, it's a Swedish holiday I guess it's a, I guess it's a, it doesn't have to be Swedish, but anyway, in Sweden, they celebrate this day. <laughs> um, it's in celebration of St. Lucia, and it's on December 13th, so it's coming up this week, and traditionally what happens, or at least what I know what happens, I've never lived in Sweden, so I don't know, it might differ from like town to town or family to family, 
but what I grew up with was that the oldest child, which was me, um, <laughs> get up and make saffron buns or saffron little or breads or little pastries or muffins or anything um, and like deliver those to the family while wearing a white dress with red sash and a crown of candles in your hair and uh, so I will show you over here the smaller version um, if you grew up with an American Girl doll you may have heard of Kirsten, um, who is the Swedish American Girl doll, and she comes, of course, with the St. Lucia outfit. So she's got like little red socks and shoes and the white dress, and she even comes with a tray. I don't have it with me here. I think it's still at my parents' house, but with the white dress and the like wreath of candles on her head. So today, what I did this morning was I hosted a brunch and. Um, I made some saffron buns and they actually worked. <laughs> I I can't have gluten or dairy, so I've been and like gluten-free and dairy-free baking is gluten-free baking is is challenging. Dairy-free, meh, not as much. Um, so I've been trying really hard this week to get sort of like a uh, a nice rise on the little uh, breads, and I think I finally got it today. So that was awesome. Uh, but I actually, I wore a white dress, which was actually my wedding dress. I, I dug it out of the closet <laughs> and it, it still fit, which is great. We're um, almost to our fifth anniversary and I, I don't think I've worn it since. It's just a very simple white um, eyelet cotton dress and um, I wore, it. it's it's strapless and it's, it's cold here. So I wore it like a white long sleeve t-shirt underneath it and um, I got in a red uh, ribbon as a sash and I have my candles or my uh, my wreath that my parents sent me this week actually because they heard I was hosting this brunch mom's like oh I'm gonna send you your candle your wreath and so she did she dug it out of the closet so here it is Ta -da! and these do light up if you put batteries in them I didn't actually put batteries in them because it makes it really heavy but this is my little crown of candles that I wore on my head. So I wore like a traditional St. Lucia outfit and I had my saffron ones. It was really fun. And um, yeah, so that's kind of the history of St. Lucia. And the other significance is that uh, if you don't know, I'm half Czech. My dad grew up in Prague and in the Czech Republic, every day is associated with a name. So everyone has a name day. And December 13th, because it's St. Lucia day, happens to be Lucia day. So you kind of, in certain families, it's celebrated differently, but in our family, um, we didn't do this growing up a whole lot, but um, like now my parents, or my family back in Prague does celebrate their, like their name day, kind of like a second birthday. Like it's a big deal. Like you get together with family and friends and you have lots of food and sometimes there might be presents or it's just kind of another reason to get together and kind of celebrate. And so that was another reason I decided to, um, to kind of celebrate. It was fun. <laughs> I didn't do a whole lot for my birthday this year because it was right after we bought this condo. And, uh, so we were kind of busy with that, but, um, which was fine. I was, <laughs> I'm old enough that it doesn't really matter. I don't have to have a party on my birthday, but, um, so yeah, it was just a small gathering of a few friends this morning, but it was just really nice and sweet and kind of nice to share about Lucia and kind of the history of my name. And um, yeah, so it was kind of fun. So the, Lucia, the name, or Saint Lucia got her sainthood because she would deliver... Well, hello again. My camera battery died in the middle of the, <laughs> what I was saying. So I had to charge it and now the sun is down. So the lighting is slightly different. Sorry about that. So I believe I was talking about St. Lucia and so the, sto the, um, the story behind St. Lucia is that she would bring food to the Christians who were hiding out um, and being persecuted at the time. I really should look this up. I keep telling people this like, this is what I remember. <laughs> I really should look this up. Anyway, 
but she would wear, um, cause she would carry the food and they were hiding out in like a cave or something. And so she couldn't carry light. So she would wear a wreath of candles on her head so that she could see where she was going and then carry this tray of food. So that's where the tradition came from that the, um, the girls wear the, the wreath of candles or the crown of candles on their head and then carry trays of food. And that's also where the, the meaning of the name Lucia is bringer of light. And that's where it came from because the, um, they were hiding out and they would see the light coming and they'd be, yay, you know? And so <laughs> I'm sure it was exactly like that. Right. Anyway, so that's what I remember of that story. And, um, so I think that's it most, mostly. I know it like I had to wait an hour and a half for the thing to charge for that. But I wanted to share that with you guys because that was an important part of St. Lucia Day and you know how the tradition began and how she became a saint and where the meaning of the name comes from and all that. So I hope you all have a good probably couple weeks. I hope to be back before the end of December. At least that's my plan. Um, so I'm going to probably, I was working on, during this off time, I was working on the other sock. It's now over there. Um, but I turned the heel and uh, I'm now a little bit up the leg. But I'm going to go find my needle and stuff to kitchener the toe of that stocking, probably do his face, stuff like that. So I'll hopefully take pictures because I probably won't have the stockings next time I record because I have to deliver them to the person who asked me to knit them. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas with your family and had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I think I recorded after Thanksgiving last time. I did, didn't I? Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, um, whatever it is that you celebrate around this time. And I will talk to you before the new year. So have a, a great couple weeks and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.